There's a movement sweeping the nation. But if you're claustrophobic, it's probably not for you. It's known as the tiny house movement, where people are downsizing their homes dramatically to live simpler lives. And by dramatically, we mean down to about 150 square feet sometimes. That's 1 16th the size of the average new home completed in 2014. There are societies, conferences, jamborees, and a handful of TV shows dedicated to the topic. There's apparently enough interest in the tiny dwellings that HGTV has three different shows on the topic. For many tiny homeowners, it's about dying down to get more out of life. For us, I think going smaller made a lot of sense. We started really realizing what's important to us lifestyle-wise, traveling, spending time doing things outside the house, not being restricted by the cost. It's no surprise that tiny homes tend to be much more affordable than their average size counterparts, although high-end luxury versions do exist. Another benefit of tiny homes is their impact on the environment. TinyHouseBuild.com reports tiny homes, on average, produce 93% less CO2 than normal homes. As the saying goes, if you build it, they will come. They just might have to duck their heads to get in. For Newsy, I'm Katie Link.